So I'm out here shooting this new piece I got, Intratech Tech 22. So it's a uh, kind of like a throwback to the original CZ Scorpion pistol. You know, that old one that used to take uh, 32 ACP. So this one takes a uh, Ruger 1022 style magazines. I'm out here shooting a steel plate. The uh, the factory magazine that it has. Uh, it's only the second time I shot the gun, but the first time I was shooting it, it was working just fine. Had almost uh, zero issues. Now you can see that round is in there. It was in there all the way, just not coming up. And I stuck my knife in there and kind of got a little bit messed up. So I stuck this uh, other magazine in there because I've been shooting 1022 today also from way over there at the truck to the steel plate so let's see how good this is gonna be this thing's gonna let's see it's kind of interesting to shoot it like this Oh, what we got? Let's see if we can figure this out. Got one just stuck up in there. Took the mag out. The breast fall. No, oh, there's still one in the pipe. The extractor kind of sucks on this thing, too. I've noticed that if I chamber around and then it doesn't fire, and I go to extract that round by pulling the uh, charging handle back, it just kind of stays in there. So let's see if we can get this thing to. Uh... Sorry. See if we can get this thing to work. Trigger didn't reset. Obviously it didn't, uh, Let's see if we can get to focus. Yeah, round didn't want to go in there. Going back over here. <laughs> Usually I don't do this. Film with my hand and shoot. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's another spent casing in there, so. This thing's kind of interesting. The, uh, Make sure there's not one in there. There isn't. All right, so the back of the top rail, just push this little button, pulls up, and then inside, hold on. It's just this uh, bolt that moves back and forth. out like that I'm just kind of put it back in there sorry I know you really can't even see that oh and this little guy's got a threaded barrel Pretty sure this is the same ammo I was using at the range. It's just worked perfectly there. Uh, 
that one's in there, but we'll see if it goes bang. Yeah, put it on fire before I picked up the camera. The safety is neat because it's on, I mean, you can kind of You can kind of put it on or take it off, I mean, with one finger, with one side, even though it's on both. I think it's actually meant to be used by both sides. All right. So, one in the pipe and one piece of brass. Just kick out that brass. Sling that bolt forward. Sorry. fire but and you can see it you see in there in front of that spring it's hard to see the hammer didn't get cycled this bolt didn't go back far enough so let's see if I can that's what sucks about something like this is typically you can't get it on safe if the hammer isn't back so And of course, it doesn't extract that one, so now I gotta double feed. And that's easy. Put it on safe. And take this mag out. While I pull back on the slide or on the bolt, put the mag back in. Sorry, I know you guys are getting a horrible view. <laughs> She's still fun. She was working real good last time, so let's see what's going on. Might be just the ammo, doesn't like it. Might need to, there's really almost no feed, there's actually no feeding ramp at all. It just relies on that mag to keep that round where that uh, the projectile can go into the chamber. But there she is.